First day back, 2023. It's fresh, but the mood is good. Just got to the workshop as normal. Neil's actually already here, so this is a good sign. Good sign for his mood for the year starting. Just get my porridge, bring my breakfast to work. Well, I have a quick snack in the house and then I bring my breakfast to work. So yeah, Evan's still sat here as we left it. So because the R1's pretty finished, if you've probably seen, if you'll go check out the last vlog, I showed it off um, of what it needed. We still need them calipers, so if anybody um, sources them for that, hit us up in the comment section below. But yeah, this is gonna go to the boss's house now, get it out of the way. Um, we have built, already built a brand new R6 for this season. We had quite a lot of people messaging in asking what 600s I'm gonna use and stuff. Yeah, we are staying with the Yamaha R6 just cause we've got so much stuff. It's a big thing to change bikes, obviously already changing to the Fireblade from the BMW. So to do both would be a, very, very expensive and a big thing for a small team like us. So yeah, first things first, the R1's gonna get off the bench. We're gonna bring it around to the boss's house. I said before about showing you some bikes at his house, so that is actually gonna happen in this vlog. That's going around there. The fire blade or this super bike is gonna go in my van. Uh, we're gonna nip down to Roger's house, pick up the super stock bike, see what he's been getting up to as regards the looms, stuff like that. And what else are we doing? I don't know, but stay tuned to find out. Because I can't remember right now, but when I do remember, it's either gonna happen or I'm gonna tell you about it. Oh yeah, happy new year. Mm -hmm. oh, You're getting a bit off and puff in there, Neil. I bet we got them in my ass. Eh? Do you want me to tie them? Can you not get over to tie no. them? <laughs> I woke up the other day and I cramped in my ass and it just won't go away. Your arse or your arm? Do you want to say Happy New Year to everyone, Neil? No. <laughs> what? Neil's actually in a good mood. He is actually in a good mood. Go on, Neil. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Right, so we're going to chuck this R1 in the van, head round to the boss's house, and give you guys a give you guys a look at what else. Neil, it's first thing. In the <laughs> I thought you had a New Year's resolution. He's dieting. He's gonna get down to 22 stone, he reckons. <laughs> right, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna put this R1 in the van, get around to the boss's house, and see what else we can show you. We could bring it to his house as well, maybe. Right, do you wanna get the handlebars and I'll lift the stand? When's you point them uh, that around? Maybe? Next week, maybe. Ready? Yeah? You've lost that much weight over Christmas, haven't you? Right. I'll give you a push. Three wheels better than yours. Doesn't <laughs> it? <laughs> Sure, you got it? Yeah. Where are you going? Just go in the middle. There we go. You're watching the bike, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Right, so as promised, I'm gonna give you a quick look at some of, they're not all my bikes, uh, other riders that were in the team as well, but yeah, this is the collection that's at my boss's house currently. So first up is my 2015, Neil, the Triumph. Oh, I'll tell you what, it'll tell you on the stamp on the BSB uh, TT. So yeah, 2015, my Triumph. 675. This bike has won the Northwest, won the Ulster Grand Prix once, if not twice. It's got the lap record at the Ulster Grand Prix, definitely. That still stands. So, even that battle that me and Pete had, oh, here, um, that battle that me and Pete had at the Ulster 
the last time it happened in 19, we still didn't wreck the lap record that I've got on this bike. Second up is my super, super bike from Honda. This looks a bit naked right now. Neil's been pinching bits off it. Um, yeah, so this is the bike that I rode for Honda when I was actually at Honda. Um, the body works currently off it because it's at Spray Bay, getting some bits fixed on it and it wasn't the tank cover wasn't the right colour and stuff, so it's just gone to Spray Bay to get checked. But yeah, you can see it's got all the same stuff on it as the my current superbike now. So Nissan calipers, Olin's forks, OZ wheels, Nissan rear brake, full quick release system that we used at the TT. Uh, same Olin shock, but yeah. So yeah, second up, Superbike Honda. This one probably means the most to me out of all the bikes. This is the actual bike that I won the TT on, uh, a Super Sport race in 2019. Still got the rosette, still got all the flies on it. It's exactly as it came off the track. Yeah, so some people would say it's probably a little bit dirty looking or whatever, but yeah, it's completely original from the day it rode off off the track. So yeah, that one probably holds the biggest place in my heart, honestly, of, of all the bikes I've rode and stuff. So yeah, amazing. Uh, next up is another 2015 bike. This bike has also won the Northwest, won the Ulster Grand Prix, uh, was on the podium at the TT, won Froberg in Germany. Um, yeah, so I have a lot of love for this bike as well. This is my 2015 BMW super stock bike. So yeah, same, all just super stock spec, obviously stock brakes, fork kit in it, shock in it. But yeah, pretty much as you buy, buy out of the, the showroom. Next up is, a, is quite a special bike. This is a HP4 race. Uh, so it's all carbon, carbon frame, carbon wheels, all those forks. These are a limited edition, I think it should say on the, so yeah, two, number 265 out of 750 bikes. So I actually rode this bike at Macau um, and I've got the another set of full carbon bodywork and everything for it that was um, that we used at Macau. It was good, it was a little bit too stiff though, the chassis was too stiff for the bumps and stuff. Yeah, quite enjoyed it, it's very, very fast and very light. Um, obviously, we've just brought this up, which you've seen on the lift. We've got it sitting here now with the helmet and everything on it. Uh, another TT winning bike, this is actually Gary Johnson's bike from 2011 when he won the Supersport TT. Yeah, I was his teammate that year, it was my first year in the team, I was just doing British Championship, but yeah, Gary won the won the championship on that. This one's a little bit special, so this, uh, this bike actually came from America, the boss bought it from America for me to do the classic TT on this year, but because we were too busy trying to get the RC45 ready, we didn't have time to get this one going. So, well, it is going. It's actually, you've seen in the vlog, it's all ready to go and everything, but we just didn't have the manpower and the, the time and everything to get just all the little bits and pieces it takes to run a two stroke properly. So, next year, this is going to be at the Classic TT. So, if anybody wants to get a look at her, come and have a look at it there. And then, finally, just in through here, is my actual 250. So, She's just sitting here. Oh, the lights changed. I've never actually rode this uh, in this trim. Uh, it's built up, but yeah, means a lot to me because I've built it and when I built it, and some people, some very good riders, have rode it that are no longer here. So that means quite a lot to me and stuff as well. So yeah, but that's the that's the collection. Just some helmets, helmets and stuff. Some of my old helmets that I've given Gary's. TT winning helmet, but yeah. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get back to work, get some stuff done. Just can't be vlogging all day and showing you guys around. I'm gonna get the sack. Right, change of scenery now. Um, I'm back home, obviously. The rest of the day at the workshop wasn't crazy exciting. I had quite a few emails and paperwork and stuff to do, invoices um, that I don't really want to be sitting letting you watch, which is not exactly that exciting, but it is part of the job. Still continuing with some sponsor stuff, talking to some new ones, trying to get new ones on board. Have had some new ones on board, and some of that's come through YouTube as well, which, is, which has been an amazing thing, so. Really happy with that. Yeah, like I said, I've just got home. Well, I've been home a while now. Finished today at the workshop. Come back over. I've got the super bike with me in the van. So 
I'm going to pop down to Rogers, which is sort of like two hours from my house, first thing in the morning. Got some other stuff to do. I'm going to go to K-Tech, do a full suspension vlog there. That's not going to be in this one, but I'll um, I'll take you with me in the morning to Rogers, and let you have a look at, see what he's done with the super stock bike or what he's changed. And then after that, I've actually, I'm going to do another vlog as well, which is something crazily exciting, uh, the biggest private collection motorbikes i've ever ever seen i'm really excited for that one but first of all bring the super bike to rogers and all the bits that we're bringing down to change and stuff and i'll see you guys in the morning all right guys so uh it's obviously now the next morning um and i've pretty much drove down to rogers now i've just nipped over on a layby got my seatbelt on this time for all you guys and i didn't want to put it in the mount so i've just pulled over on a layby so i can give you a bit of a update of what's going on so yeah i'm nearly at rogers now it's probably it's half nine i've already stopped off this morning though and did another vlog at a, a good friend of mine's house it's something i'm really really excited about so it's going to be out after this one next week's vlog it's the biggest bike collection in england i'm pretty much certain of it if anyone can find a bigger one or a better one by all means send me a picture chuck it in the comments but this is mind blowing and i'm really really excited to share it with you i'm peeking after just doing the vlog can't wait i just hope that it comes out as good as what i get to walk in the door and see that's what i was trying to do so yeah i've got the bike in the back the super bike's in we're nearly at Roger's house now, so we're gonna drop that off. Speak to Roger about a few things that need sorting. I've got some bits that he needs to do on the bike. And then after that, I'm cracking on to go to K-Tech. So whether I get a chance to get that into this vlog or I've got enough room to get that into this vlog, I will. But if not, then next week's vlog or the week after that is gonna be going to K-Tech, getting all the suspension kit changed in the super stock bike, picking up a shock from them guys and speaking about what's different on the bike because quite a lot of you guys messaged in and said why do we use K-Tech stuff like that so I'll, I'll give you a bit more detail on that and why I use it personally. It's not just the financial gain because obviously suspension is a really part, big part of riding a motorbike regarding feel and stuff so yeah that's going to be in i don't think it's going to fit in this vlog but if it's not in this one then it's keep an eye out going forward if you're into wanting to learn about that stuff and see what happens and i might try and get a bit of a, a mooch around the factory and see how things are made and different things like that so yeah that's what's happening today so we're pretty busy but first things first we need to get to to roger's house and get this bike uh dropped off why is this country so cold if you're watching this from a foreign country i'm jealous because it's bloody freezing. Right, so this is some of the parts that I was trying to explain about bringing down. So it's a front mud guard and this is the bracketry system that doesn't work like a road bike. So Superbike forks have different little clamp system here and rods that go up and stuff. So Rog is gonna machine some parts to make that work. Some of the parts are in here, Superbike mud guards there. The rest of it is all electrical parts this is obviously a motec well not obviously this is a motec logger so when you have a bike that doesn't run a motec dash and stuff you can still run a logging system then for all your suspension pots and stuff and then it gets stored in here in the logger and then the data then comes out into so when you see roger sitting on the laptop and stuff that's what he's plugging into essentially into this logger system so that's some bits that are all need to go on. The logger needs to get sent off to MoTeC, so that's gonna get done as well. It's got some bits to do with the calipers here, so because these are different forks, this spacer needs uh, machining by, I don't know what a really small measurement is, but a really small measurement to get that off. And then I've got some more Brembo discs that need to go on the super stock bike, which is already here. So I brought them down. They are discs that we had run on another bike. So I just want to see if the rotors are the right offset and stuff um, to get fitted for that. So yeah, them's just some of the things why we're here and what he's going to get cracked on with. But first of all, we get the bike out. Yeah, what are we fucking doing? I am. Um... 
So that's that sorted with Raj. Bike dropped off, all the bits dropped off, gone through everything. Picked up the forks out of the super stock bike. That was also there and KTEC shock for my R6. Now on the way to KTEC, currently, time is it now? 20 to 12, we've been on the road since 10 to 6. It makes me laugh sometimes when, when like I meet people at shows or chat shows or whatever and what they act believe my life to be like you know, outside a race and they just think I sort of, I don't know what people think, but I think this is the nicest thing that's come out of doing these vlogs, that people have realised that it's not all sunshine and rainbows and there's a lot of shit jobs to do and I think I'm a bit of an exception, like I said probably before, and it's probably only me and Peter Hickman that are sort of like this, that run the team and do stuff, try and sort out all the sponsors and all that sort of thing. Yeah, it's just it's nice to give, give you guys an insight into what actually happens in my day to day day to day life of driving around England, picking up bikes, dropping bikes off, ordering parts, doing invoices and all the other stuff that, uh, that comes with it. So yeah, exciting times. But thanks again for watching. Like I said before, the next vlog is going to be obviously at that amazing bike. I don't even know what the right word for it is. Collection. It's massive and it's amazing, you need to see it. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And then, like I said, now I'm just on my way to KTEC to do a fork kit and have a look around the factory there. So that's gonna be pretty cool as well. So yeah, exciting stuff ahead and more plenty of work. Thanks for watching, bye bye.